Hello everyone. As you know, last month we finally completed our perfect Belial. But that's not needed anymore. Why? Because we have this. The new B191 Overdrive set, which contains Prominence Phoenix, Dangerous Belial, and Savior Perseus. Now, Belial, Dangerous Belial is the new evolution to Dynamite Belial, which I just chucked over there. Anyways, uh, here is Savior Perseus and Prominence Phoenix. And we also get a new launcher with it. Now on the bottom, not much. The side, just our usual high and low mode explanation. On top, pretty much the same thing as the bottom. This side, we just have some suggested combos. And now onto the back. First up, we have Dangerous Belial All Might 2. Our core is Belial. We have the Dangerous Blade and another recolor of the two, which we actually have three of already. And the driver is All Might. Now, Belial has some gimmicks, part of the new overdrive system, which I'll get into later as always. And here is Prominence Phoenix. We have Phoenix, Prominence, the armor is 10, which I don't have yet, so that's gonna be good. Uh, the tapered disc and the metal universe driver. And lastly is Savior Perseus, which the Perseus core, the Savior blade, uh, the three armor and the giga disc, and finally a bearing dash driver which I'll also get into later. Now I'll open up the box now. And honestly, the box is way too big for all of this. Here are the stickers. Let me get it out of the package. We have a very big instruction book. Put that to the side. We have this. We have some combos. Pause the video if you want to see them. And down here we also have the B190 with the Gold Dangerous Belial and the Purple Gorevahanov. And here we have the November release, which is Greatest Raphael, Rashad's new bay. And that's for Dynamite Perseus with the gold version. And that's it for those two. Here are the stickers. There are quite a lot of them. So the stickering this time might take a while. Uh, next up, let's get all this out of here. with these. Alright, now everything is out and we can put this to the side. Now, I'll put Phoenix. Let's put that all up right there. And Perseus. We get this. Here we have the layer. And the driver. And lastly is Dangerous Belly. Now I will, as usual, go sticker these up and then come back and review each okay, of them. Okay, so now I have 
stickered up all the bays, but first we will be going over this new launcher. And for that, I have two of the other DB launchers to compare. So, from the original to the power one that we got in with Savior Valkyrie, uh, the only thing that changed was the gear unit, which changed the power gear unit, which had a smaller gear so you could get more rotations out of it. But from here to here, two things changed. It also has a power gear, which is basically the same as this, so nothing changed there. But what did change is the spin unit and the core unit. So if we take this, actually wait, uh, to test the core unit, these two have the, the core unit has the string inside it, and these two have basically the same one with just a color difference. So if we stretch it out and go from there, you can see the distance and the one for these two is basically the same but with this one it's quite a bit longer and you can see I have it at pretty much the same place so that's one of the things is that it has a longer string And the second thing is the spin unit, which is a bit different from our regular one. In our regular one, there's just this white piece here, and then that's it. In here, though, we have the white piece and then a ball bearing, which actually makes the spin of it a whole lot smoother. And I think that's all it does, aside from adding weight to the launcher. So, I think next I'll go over the base. Then. First up, we have Savior Perseus. And for the Perseus core, it looks like this. And it only really has one gimmick. It's basically like longiness, where it has metal on it. But instead of in the center, this time it's on the outside area. You can see this whole, like, bow kind of thing on both sides. And that's basically the Perseus core. Perseus core has basically regular teeth. Next, we have the Savior Blade, which first released with the Savior Valkyrie. And the only real difference is, to, is with this one, um... The rubber is quite a bit harder, and also there are less stickers on it. And the color changed. That's about it. So the gimmick of this, if you remember, is that these little parts can break off, which will make the blade stronger. Next up is the three armor. Nothing too special, it just has the weights on three sides. Next up is the Giga Disc. The third heaviest disc if you count Nexus Plus S. Um, it's a pretty heavy disc and it's really, so I'd say it is pretty good to have. And lastly we have Bearing Dash. Now some of you might be wondering why, because on a regular dash driver the spring cap here is a red color, but on here it's more like a shredded cheese color. And you might be asking why that is. So, the spring on here is way stronger than on here, but that's kind of the reason why it is a dash driver. So, the original bearing, it had very weak springs. There was, like, barely any resistance. This basically upgrades it to the strength of a normal driver spring, which is a pretty big upgrade from... Because, come on, let's hear this. So on here, that's how it sounds. And then if we put bearing dash on, it's a lot tighter. And that's basically Savior Perseus. Now we will uh, do the regular assembling of low and high mode. So we'll start off with high mode first. And 
here is Save Your Perseus in High Mode. The color combination is pretty good. And now if we go to Save Your Perseus in Low Mode, have it. Next up we'll be covering Prominence Phoenix. Alright, now we have Prominence Phoenix. First up is the Phoenix Core, which I didn't really like it at first because it looked more like the color of Hasbro's Revive Phoenix, but it's starting to grow on me. Um, this one doesn't really have any special gimmicks. But its teeth are okay, I guess. Next up is the Armor 10. And it basically just has 10 protrusions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's where the name 10 comes from. Here's the bottom of it. Here is the tapered disc. We got this on Vanish Fafnir. Pretty low disc. Pretty light as well. Next up is the Metal Universe driver. We'll get to prominence last. And on Universe, there are two things that are free spinning this outer ring and this middle ball thing. But this is Metal Universe, so it does have a metal lock cap. Although I've heard that this does not damage your teeth as much. And those tabs look really low, so I think you'll be alright putting this on a bay. Anyway, this thing free spins really well. And lastly is Prominence. Now, this I wanted to get to last since it has the most to cover. Firstly, Prominence is the first, if I can get it apart, two-piece blade, unless you count Dynamite with the F gear. Next, and the way you can assemble this, it has two modes, where if you line up these silver parts with the silver points on here and here, that is your normal mode, where the armor is easier to come off. But then there's also a heavy mode, where if you line it up with these blue parts, the armor is harder to come off. And that's basically it, so I suppose we'll assemble it now. So, first in high mode. armor on. Here's how it looks. Side view. And it looks pretty good. And to change the modes, you actually do have to take off the armor, which is kind of a uh, pain, but still it's pretty cool that it has the armor gimmick from back in Chosey. And now we'll assemble it in low mode. I've heard the universe driver is really annoying, and I can see why it just free spins, so it's hard to lock in. And put this on like that as well. It's not going in. For a second I thought it was bent since it was like that, but apparently it's not. Um, okay, there we go. Prominence Phoenix low mode. And it does look really low. Lastly, we will get to Dangerous All right, Bill. And the last bay in the set that we have is right here. So I've brought the regular Dynamite Dalio without the gears to 
uh, compare this to. So first up we have the Armor 2, which is literally the same, just a different color. Then we have the Blade, which is dangerous. Compared to Dynamite, it looks a lot bigger, as well as a lot more aggressive. Now the thing with Dangerous is every single part on here that's red, it's rubber, so it'll be really good for knockouts or bursts, which is what I'm feeling from it. And the blades are filled in with rubber, so it might do that swish thing from Vanish Fafnir from time to time, although it's really hard rubber, so I don't know if that will do it. Uh, and then next up are parts that use the new overdrive system that I mentioned before. First up being the Belial core, and as you can see, they switched from horizontal to a more vertical. And the gimmick of this core is actually right here, if I can get it out. It's a burst stopper, which is similar to Chosy Valkyrie from... Beyblade Burst uh, Chozy. See, there's that tab sticking out in the path of the disc, and what it will do is it'll stop it from bursting. But that's only if you get a powerful launch, so I wouldn't count on it happening too much unless you have an abnormally strong launch. And the teeth on here... Uh look pretty similar to how the first Belial's teeth were, although the first Belial's teeth are a lot more worn now. So this is just going off purely off memory. And next up we have this disc looking thing, which is not actually a disc, it's part of the driver called All Might. And this actually resembles the Nexus disc like a lot, but it doesn't have this part in the middle because the All Might driver has that part. Anyways, here is Venture compared to All Might. What All Might has is this flat tip, which is free spinning, as well as if you take this and attach it onto there, it has a bound attack, which works in both directions. And what this thing's overdrive system gimmick is, if you get a strong launch on it, the on the very tip, there's this, as you can see, there are three layers, the first one, the second one, and the third one. If you get a strong launch, the third one retracts, and this part locks up so it's not free spinning. To reset that, you'll have to push this switch, although it's not activated now, so can't show you until we get to the battle phase. And with this part, the reason it's detachable is because you can keep it like this, or you can flip it over and put it like that. But with this, if you use it like this, you can only use it with other bays that are not, uh, like, pre-DB, or, like, um, DB bays in high mode, because this blocks the whole area that's raised. With this one, you can use it in low mode. So now, I guess it's time to assemble it. First in high mode, like usual. And I guess I'll put it this way, because just to have a sort of double high mode. And the teeth are really strong, so I don't I don't think I should put a dash driver on this because I think that would break it. And next up is low mode, if I can get this off. Put that down there. And then put that on and lock it in. Now we have to use the driver like this, and this is how it looks in low mode.
pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. And next we'll get to the test battles, I guess. Okay, so now is the first test battle we're testing. First up, we'll be using Savior Perseus along with our new launcher. And later, when we do a test battle, we'll be testing all their bays against Guilty Longinus. So, first test spin. We do. Goes to the center pretty well. And. Sorry, I forgot what I was about to say. Um. I think this will be able to get a lot of knockouts, even when it's sort of a stamina type, because of the Savior Blade. Anyway, let's get to the test battle. First up, Savior Perseus, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> did end up a draw. From Savior Perseus, we have one click, but with Bearing as a regular driver, that's pretty impressive. And on my Mirror Long and, or sorry, uh, Guilty Longinus, we had half a click. Oh, or one click. I can't tell. Anyways, um, next, I guess, is Prominence Phoenix. We'll do two rounds with this one. Uh, once in normal mode and once in heavy mode. But first, a test spin. Three, two. And for the test driver, this seems really aggressive. So I'm not sure how that'll do. And the driver is still spinning even after I picked it up, which is kind of funny. Um, anyways, now for the test battle. Three, two, Surprisingly, the armor did not come off that round, so this time we'll do it in heavy mode. Just snap it onto the blue parts, here we are. And from that, no clicks. And now, Phoenix in heavy mode, 3, 2, 1. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Are the modes mixed up here? Because I swear that came off a way easier than in normal mode. Let's try that again. Okay. Uh, three, two, Phoenix did, did lose that time, and I feel like there might be something wrong with my prominence blade. Also, Phoenix- oh. Maybe it's just because it took enough damage to pretty much burst it. Okay. That might be it. Either way, I'm kind of surprised that it didn't come off in normal mode, but it came off in heavy mode. I'll do one more normal mode battle just to be sure that it didn't break or something. Come on, Phoenix. Work with me, please. Three, two. Yeah. I'm gonna forget about this one for a while, and we will move on to our star of the show, Dangerous Belial. 
Now, reminder that this activates with a strong shoot, so first off we'll do a weak launch, and then a strong launch, and then we'll do a battle with VLT Longness. So it's pretty controlled right now. If I do a slightly stronger one, it's a bit faster, but it's still controlled. As you can see, the tip did not go down yet. And now if we do a really strong launch... Very aggressive, and it left the stadium. But we did get that burst stopper out, and this did go in. So to reset it, we just have to flip the switch and boom, the tip's back out. And now for a battle. So since I think, and since you can't just click this in from the outside like you can with Josie Valkyrie, I'm gonna have to click it manually. Okay. And now our battle with Guilty Longness. I apologize if this is gonna be and guilty was immediately or no, uh, dangerous was immediately shot out. Maybe too much weak for it? I guess we'll try again. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm gonna end this here, and we'll go back, and I have something I need to discuss about okay, Dangerous so Belial. So about Dangerous Belial. With Dynamite Belial, you had all those gears, but then Bel Dangerous Belial came out, and that was a waste of time. But no, it wasn't. Here's the thing. You can still use all of your evolution gears with Dangerous Belial. So with the S gear... You just put it into place on this part, boom. And for the V gear, you just put it into here and just snap it in. With Venture, you had to push it in and then turn, but with this one, you just snap it in. To, you can't really remove this unless you pull down this lever and then it just releases it. But we're gonna keep that in there. And for the layer, we can get rid of the Sutu armor and put the L gear, match it up with the silver parts. That's the wrong side. There we go. Put in the F gear here. And put in the Belial core right here. Seems like it's kind of tough to get it to stick all the way in. But it does fit. So with this, I'll put it upside down. And now you can see the effects of the bound attack a lot more. And now I'll put it together. And here is our perfect dangerous belly out. And now we will do our, I guess we could take revenge on Guilty Longinus with this thing. Okay, we're back at the stadium, and we have our very beefy boy, dangerous belly out, perfect gear. And we'll try to take our revenge on Guilty Longinus. Now, since our super powerful launches didn't do much last time, they just killed us immediately. This time we'll try going for a softer launch against it. Well, I managed to get both out of them. But what we need is a definitive victory. So, we'll try that again. 
hopefully. And it wasn't. You know, I had very high hopes at the start. So far, Savior Perseus is looking to be the most consistent. It's always either double or just getting beat up with this thing we need to try to go for an absolute win <laughs> and did we awaken it i think we got the gear out which means we also got the driver out and in this form it it's kind of hard to hit the driver switch, so of course I need to remove the V-gear because they couldn't make it accessible. It's kind of annoying, but okay. <laughs> Either way, I think I will conclude my unboxing of this set here. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of these bays. Personally, I do recommend the set. It seems like a lot of fun. Although not the most consistent, it does seem fun. So, I will see you guys soon. I keep saying that, but I probably miss it. I will do a battle sometime. Because I kind of want to test this out against all, or most of the bays I have right now. So, that'll be all for now. I might see you guys again in a month or two. See ya!